Good day and welcome to another video on the Free Waste YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to us by clicking on the subscribe button and of course the bell so you can receive notifications of our new videos coming out. Now today I have a very important topic to talk about uh, which I call the convergence of the civilizational clash. All over the world we are seeing in our time in recent weeks and months a convergence of this conflict, this civilizational and ethnic conflict in the world that is taking place in almost all countries, especially in Western countries. Now, this term convergence I'm sort of bother borrowing from a recent um, television interview and discussion with uh, Mr. Eric Zemmour uh, in France. He's, we, we also did a, um, an article about that, about his recent pronouncements on multiculturalism and, the, and this um, conflict taking place uh, in the West on the Free West Media uh, website, freewestmedia.com. I'm going to put the, the link in the description of this video so you can also go and read what he has to say. It's the only English language um, version of what he said in French uh, on television and in a couple of recent interviews, where he spoke about the convergence of struggles that is taking place. And convergence of struggles is actually a Marxist term. Um, and he's seeing that all of these protests, the Black Lives Matter in the USA, um, the protests in France and elsewhere in Europe, together with the Antifa, these radical leftists who are also exploiting the current conditions, that everything is converging against Western and European civilization and that makes it in Huntington's terms a clash of civilizations now and what that's what I'm saying that there's now a convergence of the of the civilizational clash all over the Western world some people also call it a race war it's got some aspects of a race war but I'll stick to the more kind of neutral academic term clash of civilizations. And in various countries, it finds itself uh, at various stages. For example, here in South Africa, we are already very deep down the rabbit hole as far as this thing goes. You know, we are being uh, dominated, we are being killed, we are every day almost every day there's another farm murder another white person tortured to death um, raped uh, robbed you know there's almost a complete state of anarchy here in south africa so we are the furthest along the path when it comes to this kind of civilizational clash now in some respects uh, we are of course suffering the most from this but in other respects it has also awakened us to the problem because when you're being killed, you know, that at some point you, you have to ask yourself why. And then our people no longer are no longer under any illusions as to what they have been promised in terms of the, the wonders of the multicultural society and democracy and so on. You know, we are merely experiencing the worst uh, of it here. And, you know, Zemmour also refers to that. He says that in the UK and in the, especially in the USA, he doesn't refer to South Africa, but he could have, um, they're already used to a certain level of violence and violent protests, arson, burning of buildings and vehicles and so on and in France as well France is also already a pretty violent country when it comes to this kind of civilizational clash but in Germany and other a few other countries uh, maybe Sweden 
although Sweden also has its fair share of violence already, they are perhaps not there yet. You know, uh, when they had the, the Stuttgart riots uh, a week or so ago, uh, the Germans were quite shocked by that. They'd never experienced anything like that. And therefore, it, it came as a complete surprise to them. And they're wondering now what's going on. Whereas, of course, here in South Africa, <laughs> you know, riots, we see them all the time. Violence, burning, burning of buildings, it, it, it's commonplace uh, in South Africa. So, but the point is that various countries are in various stages of this civilizational clash. But ultimately, it's going to get worse and worse in every country, except maybe in South Africa, where it's already so bad that it can hardly get worse. I think uh, from here onwards, and as we start to respond to this and take countermeasures, I think it's going to improve. Because we've been through this thing for centuries, really, and at times in the 19th century and the 20th century, we applied counter-violence. Let's be honest. You know, we started to um, apply measures, sometimes violent, to counter this thing. And it worked very well for, for decades. But then, uh, you know, for all sorts of reasons that I won't go into now, um, you know, we got a lot of international criticism and so on. And uh, eventually, yes, we had this kind of 1994 revolution that we've had. And now we are really uh, in a state of complete anarchy here. But it's important to realize that we are all potential allies. Every one of us, every country, every nation that is suffering from this phenomenon. We are all potential allies. And there's already a lot of international cooperation and exchange of ideas between peoples uh, in North America, Europe, uh, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, places like that all over the Western world and I think that that kind of cooperation uh, will continue and it must intensify because only when we cooperate and work together are we going to beat this thing. I think we all realize by now that the multicultural experiment has failed utterly uh, in each and every country where it has been applied. It has failed. It has led to violence and corruption and degradation, cities falling apart, uh, crime taking over, anarchy, death and destruction. That's multiculturalism in a nutshell. And in the future, things will have to be turned around. Um, the immigrants will have to leave Europe. There are not that many of them yet in Europe. Uh, you know, if, if you look, look at the total population of Europe of about 700 million people, maybe 40 to 50 million immigrants, they can return to their countries of origin over a period of time. That must happen. In America, the situation will have to be stabilized. Um, you know, America will have to close its borders just like President Trump has, uh, has promised. But it will also have to address the demographic decline of European Americans. If that goes on as it is at the moment, um, well, you know, America does not have a future. The USA will just become another Mexico or another, or another Brazil. It will not remain um, a Western country as it is, as it used to be and the leader of, you know, in technological innovation and lots of other fields, like it has been over the last uh, few decades. So, America is really at an urgent stage of its history. And here in South Africa, we will have to shake off the ANC parasite. We've got a lot of ideas about that. And we will need some help from abroad as well. But I think we are able to do it. Once we start believing in ourselves, we will shake them off and we will turn the situation around. And ultimately, 
we must all learn from one, one another. I think there's a lot that we can learn from the kind of thinking that's going on in Europe at the moment. You know, like uh, some of these uh, ideas coming out of France uh, and so on. And also, of course, the Americans, they have a lot of experience in these fields as well. And probably people can learn from us as well, because we, if nothing else happens, we represent your future. You will ultimately be living through and living in a dystopian nightmare where you will be attacked on the streets in your house in your home in your car you will be robbed you will be carjacked you will be killed and you will be taxed heavily and there will be laws against you uh, legislating against you as a european person and excluding you from the job market and from access to capital everything that's happening and that has already happened in south africa so unless we act now and start uh, coming, you know, following uh, the strategy, a coherent strategy, so that we can overcome this clash, clash of civilizations, we are going to be nowhere. Thank you very much for listening to me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And as I said, I'll, I'll post the... Uh, article from freewestmedia.com in the description of this video and until next time uh, yes let's do this together <laughs>